Hello, welcome back to my channel. Hello, everyone. Today, I'm gonna share with you the word of encouragement. There are ways. The title of the words of encouragement today is the preparation for Jesus' return. Okay. When we believe that Jesus is coming for his second time, are you ready? For example, when you getting married, you know, you have to prepare yourself, right? And if you have a visitors, you have to prepare yourself. You have to clean your house, everything. You have to prepare everything set up, right? Before your guests coming okay but the coming of the Lord is not like that okay because the Bible says that the coming of the Lord is like a thief in the night that no one knows even in the angel of heaven only the Father in heaven knows the time when he will come again for the second time so the preparation of the coming of the lord is there are ways to prepare for jesus return there are ways according to the bible that we can not compare for our natural life as now to prepare ourselves when our guest is coming Okay. Now, there are five ways. There are five ways or things to prepare for our Lord's second coming. Okay. We may not know when Jesus will come again, but we can do our best to be ready for that. Is everyone ready? Okay. Christians around the world have waited for the glorious return of Jesus Christ for millennia. The Bible says no man knows and not even the angels know the time of Jesus coming. Okay, But when St. Paul spoke to the Thessalonians, he said, children of light will know the season. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober in first Thessalonians chapter 5 to 6 although we do not know when Jesus will come again we do know the world is growing increasingly dark as in the times of Noah and the world is repining of God's judgment so how can we as a children of light prepare for the that wonderful day of Jesus second coming okay those who Christians believers in Christ know the Word of God that we have know the truth that Jesus is coming for the second time around okay we know and we know that Jesus will come again and we know what is those signs and wonders that Jesus is coming on the second time around in Revelation we know that in Revelations that all the work the uh, happenings in this world right now it's already it's going on okay it's already fulfilled the word of God okay so what we gonna do to prepare ourselves for the second coming of Jesus Christ because everyone 
we earnestly or eagerly okay everyone i know we are eagerly to face for the coming of the lord but before that you know the word is become dark become uh tribulations that coming but we stay in faith hold on to god be still and we expect good things to god and we expect that before the great tribulation in this world jesus coming come to save us he will lift us up amen number one is to pray without ceasing okay always pray always pray don't forget to pray don't forget to thanks god don't forget to acknowledge god every day in our life pray for everyone pray our nations pray all believers and pray all people and pray yourself pray for your family and every one of us continues in prayer and pray without ceasing if you want to know what god knows begin by asking him okay god knows when his son will return to the earth so ask him if the time is coming soon if you feel his confirmation then ask god what he wants you to do to prepare but this we will lead and guide you to a place for safety and peace even in the middle of hardship world okay in the in the deepest um tribulation in this world he will give you the protection and strength you need to withstand darkness he will bring you into his glorious light if you are humble enough yourself to god amen number two is listen sometimes we think we know what god wants for us but god's knowledge is not always of use as believers we have the wonderful opportunity to help prepare the world for jesus second coming this requires us to listen to god's voice so we can know and do god's will if we rely on him he will lead us to the places we need to be and the safe safety that is available for his children amen the lord will save us and he will keep us by his loving hands when we trust God and we believe him and we love him more than anything else number three is watch okay to watch watchful being watchful being vigilant being ready for anything okay well apostles Paul said we need to watch and be ready we do not watch with fear and trembling but we watch with joy and gladness amen praise god jesus return should be a glorious time for his people and we should look forward to that day with gladness we are promised that those who watch will know the season amen when we are ready to to face the lord for his coming his um, second coming there is a joy in our heart there is a glad that we cannot even express amen when we know that he is coming soon to come to bless us and to rescue us from this tremendous hardship troubles in this world because we are not belong here we are belongs in god's kingdom amen praise god number four is this store when jesus spoke of his own return he used this 
story of the ten virgins. Do you remember in the Bible the ten virgins? Kay lokano na kay talong ababai nga lima ayo pat sa ngapulo nga babae tay lima kat na ampang kuna na gyud tilo kano iti lima kat na na uh, nanakem kuna na jay di ba the ten virgins okay of the virgins had extra extra oil and five did not when the groom is coming was delayed the five who did not have oil had to make a trip to the market to get more and while they were gone the groom came and they miss him wow this is so wow this is unfortunately very sad and very very wow don't know it's grievous and um regrets you know from your soul the kind of oil we need to store are those things that feed our light within okay the store we have this the oil is the ready you don't allow to to uh, dry up your oil the oil is the symbols is that is the Holy Spirit working in your lives. Don't let the Holy Spirit away from you. Okay? Saan mo ngay palubos the Holy Spirit ket pumanaw ken ka? Kuna natin lokano. Don't let your oil were gone off. But when you are, when you know the truth and you are ready, Preparing yourself must be your oil full, fully enough in your life for the coming of the Lord. Okay? By doing, by doing His work, through sharing the gospel, sharing the word of God to peoples, and continue in faith. Okay, continue in faith in Christ Jesus and continue to walk in His ways. Amen. No matter what we're going through in this lifetime, brothers and sisters, keep holding your faith to God in Jesus Christ and don't let the evil to distract you. Okay, amen. And number five, improve okay god does not does not expect us to be perfect yes and perfection is not required for us in order to see him at his return what is expected in the its day we are a little better than the day before if jesus came today he would accept your progress and count you as his. No matter how small your steps forward are, every step moves us forward, even the baby step. Amen? We don't have to be perfect. We just have to do our best to make each day count as an improvement one day at a time in all we have ever to worry about jesus come may come as a thief in the night to those who are in the dark but as saint paul said we are not of the night nor of the night sorry nor at the night as children of light we will watch and be ready for the glorious return of our lord jesus christ amen god will overwhelm to us the simplest faith that we have amen the simplest faith we have as a 
childlike faith. God accept us and he will keep us in his loving hands. Praise God. And thanks God for this wonderful day. Thank you for his word that keeps alive into our heart. Thank you for watching and God bless everyone.